What's the biz, everybody? It's your boy, Data Maker, a.k.a. BMC, and I'm um, here to give you some, uh, some true shit. So, um, recently, um, today, uh, uh, recently this week marked the, um, the 25th anniversary for the, t- for the North American release of FF7. So, I figured, um, now would be, like, a good time to re- really do, uh, do this little, uh, thing of mine that I've been wanting to do. Now, granted, I've done this you know, on Facebook, Instagram, but, but, you know, I always wanted to do it, like, in a video format, but, you know, now is a good time to do it, you know, so, um, as most of you who have played the FF7 remake, we, uh, are aware the game has a total of 18 chapters, all of these chapters differ in length, some, like the first, uh, like the first reactor bombing mission, right at the start of the of the of the, uh, of the game, lasts around an hour, while others can last much, much longer. Especially chapters that include side quests, like fighting all the chocobos, or or finding all of Don Corneo's secret stashes. Some chapters give you room to breathe and explore, while others are more uh, are very story driven, driven, with lots of cutscenes and boss battles. And this and um, this week I'll be going over my top fifteen um, fa- uh, favorite chapters. This goes without saying, but obviously this being a top fifteen. Three chapters will be left out from this list, and they will be chapters 6, 11, and 15, since they are my least favorite ones for various reasons. So, consider this to be, like, the first of many uh, sets of videos. Um, so, like, each video, I'll do, like, a video uh, uh, basically going over each of the chapters of, of the rankings or whatever, ranking each chapter. And then, um, once, once I'm done with all this, I'll probably do, like, a, 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 do something where, like, I'll probably combine each video into, in sets of videos into one, you know, one big video, you know, once I'm done with this. But, um, alright, uh, let's get to it. Let's mosey. So starting off the list is the second to last chapter of the, of the game. The, sta- the, the chapter starts off pleasantly as the whole team is in a room, a s- specimen enclosed in uh, Hojo's lab where Aerith reveals what she knows of her Cetra heritage. Then after a brief run in with, with Sephiroth on the 68th uh, floor, of the laboratory at the restricted level, the team will be forced to go through Hojo's monsters and a lot different rooms, all just to make it out of the lab. I really was not a fan of this portion of the chapter. However, I did like the fact that we got to occasionally walk around as Tifa and the boss and the boss fight against uh, against the uh, sword swordipede was pretty cool as we started fighting the started started the fight playing as cloud and barrett then switch switching to playing as tifa and air when this when the monster fled to their area and the ladies finished it off still i felt this portion of the of the chapter was really unnecessary and not that great once we do make it out of the laboratory we follow a trail of purple goo in the original game it was blood Towards the uh, the executive the executive suite until you uh, reach the uh, the president's office. Barrett had had a really cool moment um, antagonizing President Shinra. Then we actually got to witness Sephiroth killing Shinra. Then then a cool boss fight against Genova uh, Dreamweaver occurred. 
got to fight uh, Rufus and, and Tifa once again, proving why she's the MVP of the game by saving uh, Cloud's ass again. Then Cloud was being a badass on a, on a motorcycle as Tifa drove everyone else on a safety on a, on a pickup truck. Seeing this iconic scene from the original game brought back to life in the remake was incredible. Was was incredible. This easily makes it in in the uh, in my top ten f favorite moments from the game. Side note: expect a top t uh, TS top fifteen list on that as well in the near future. Wink, wink. Stop them, you fools! Don't let them escape! 